time no see. Um, I've actually had a lot of content that I stored onto my hard drive that I wanted to put out but I thought that, you know, effectively it wasn't really that great or wasn't really that fun or interesting to be honest. Hence why I'm coming back again today with a more interesting video. Um, as you might know, I've been really focusing on cooking this past quarantine period, especially trying to grow a small Instagram account which is now over 240 followers or something like that, which is really awesome. And part of that is just been making a lot of content related to cooking and trying like really innovative or like creative recipes that might sound interesting or might appeal to like a wider audience who might think it's just cool to look at or want to try it. So today we're doing one of those things. Uh, it's going to be a bulgogi burger and I'll think, I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through my thought process on how that all works out. So um, you'll see bits and pieces of experimentation today because I think the hardest part effectively is trying to make the buns, like the burger buns out of actual grains of rice. I looked online, uh, we use like potato starch to bind it together and then fry it in a pan. So fingers crossed that works um, and hopefully today should be quite fun. So. I will see you guys in a bit. I'm going to the store now to grab some Asian groceries and then we'll begin with a top-down view of me cooking today. So yeah, peace. Hey guys, so I came back from the store. I got some beef for the bulgogi. Uh, spinach, Chinese spinach, just the long leaf one. I think it'll, it'll fit nicer onto the actual burger once it's like once the water is squeezed out effectively. Bean sprouts, I have an egg. I'm gonna fry that and put it on top. Hopefully it'll be okay. I'm not sure how I'll do that yet. Um, some kimchi, I couldn't be bothered <laughs> making my own kimchi after making that 10 kilo one. So yeah, and I got some sushi rice, which is perfect for the burger, I think, because effectively, um, to hold it together, it needs to be quite starchy and sushi rice is way starchier than normal rice. And we will be adding additional potato starch just to make it a bit better. But yeah, uh, hopefully it will go well. I will do the top down, but also take a lot of photos for Instagram. So I uh, will see you in, in, during the process. Right, catch you in a bit.
Hey guys, sorry I didn't, I forgot to introduce it because we were FaceTiming family while cooking this so there was a lot of background noise so it's probably going to be muted all the cooking, you won't get any ASMR I'll just chuck a backing track on it but look at this, it's so exciting, it's my, it's my burger buns made from rice and the great thing about this is that as you can see, if I carefully hold one of these like the crispiness simulates the stone pot of a bibimbap um, which is gonna be so amazing. So, I'm gonna start building it up now. I also have my big tub of koju jang here. Taeyang to Taeyang koju jang. Um, and I've made some bean sprouts. I just put sesame oil and salt into this one. I blanched some spinach, and I had a perfectly cooked egg as well. Uh, you obviously saw the pu bogi here. Just here, and I have my kimchi. So we're gonna start constructing it. Um, I'm gonna do it top down, and then I'll film it from the side at, at a later point, I think. Uh, but yeah, exciting times. Um, that reminds me. I'm gonna go swipe a spoon. But we're gonna start with this. Will be our base. Actually, I think this one is smaller than this one. It's about the same size, so I think this this one should be our base actually. And you can see the crispiness in this one too. So we'll put this as our base. We'll have our kimchi here. I don't want it to overflow, I think. Um, but I will be using this whole portion. I'm not sure if it's too much kimchi though. But we can we can just test it as we go along. Um, I think it's just gonna aesthetically be pleasing. Be aesthetically pleasing, I should say. And I don't know how tall the burger will be either. The ideal situation that I will get is that when we cut it in half, and hopefully it doesn't break apart when we cut it in half, um, we will get the egg oozing out because obviously it's a runny egg. So. No qualms there. The next layer, I think, we'll put spinach. Um, which we've just squeezed out. It's just blanche. It's nothing too serious in there. I didn't even put any soy sauce or anything like that. We've just put it on into the hot water for about a minute and I squeezed out a bit of the water so we don't have too much liquid inside. And then we'll put the bulgogi. It's not really a full on traditional bulgogi because I didn't put any garlic, onion, or Asiatic pear inside. Um, we just did it with soy sauce and a bit of sugar. It tastes really good though. Like, in terms of simplicity, if you're looking for something really quick and you have like brisket to just chuck into the pan and season, it doesn't even need to be seasoned for that long. Just super simple, super delicious. Uh, definitely worth having a go. The thing I'm worried about now is that, as you can see, like as a pyramid, since we started with such a wide base and the spinach wasn't as much as I thought we made, um, the pulgogi, if we try to spread it out a bit more, might be not structurally integral. I mean, not, there's no structural integrity to it, I should say. So I'll just try my best to make it as wide as possible. Some bean sprouts. I don't think I put too much on. I think we'll spread the koju jang, koju jang, koju jang, koju jang onto the top bun. Um, I pre try and press it down a little bit here. This is quite precarious. It is getting quite tall. Um, and not wide enough. 
Thing is, if we had a patty, this might have been easier. Obviously, we're using brisket, so it's prone to like. Sorry, just hit the, I just hit the microphone on the camera. It's prone to like spill over into the sides. All right, egg, the perfect egg. And put it on top like this. Okay, one second. I'll get a spoon. Got my spoon. Actually, I came into the room and I could see it from the side and. I will say I'm quite excited about this one. Uh, <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, it's so extra, like you wouldn't do it, right? Because if you have a stone pot, you just heat up the stone pot anyway. Um, and just put it in, but I'll just put a tiny bit if the camera will focus. There we go, of, oh, of Koju Jam. What I'll do with this is that I'll grab the top one. And just spread it around like a... Like you would with like um any sort of burger sauce, right? On, on a bun. Actually, I might grab a little bit more. Like any burger sauce you grab on a bun. And then I will put it on top. I'm thinking about putting some black sesame seeds. I have some of those available. Let me just slowly do this. Oh, I hit the camera again. Um, I'm gonna put that into the middle. I'll clean up the slate a little bit with a bit of wet towel. Another great thing I could have done as well, guys, by the way, if you're um, listening. Oh no, the egg leaked. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. I think that's good for B-roll. Um, but another great thing I could have done is use some spring onion somewhere within the dish. That could have been really exciting as well. Let me just grab some black sesame seeds in my hand. Definitely gonna pop sooner or later. Um, which made me quite hesitant of pressing down the bun, but coming into the room, like I said, it looked quite great but the only thing I had an issue with was that the bun on top was like kind of off-center that's why I pushed it down and moved it into the center a bit might have ruined the effect but it's gonna give some great b-roll so yep I'll roll that right now that's like the remnants of the burger destroyed it tasted amazing um, hopefully you'll see the cinematic, or you've just watched the cinematic footage of the construction and everything and saw some photos of me munching it down. Uh, it was actually a really interesting experiment. And so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, make sure to follow me on my cooking Instagram that is slowly growing at cedric.tan.food. And see you guys in another video, hopefully soon. Sorry I haven't been uploading as much to my <laughs> dear followers. Uh, but yeah, uni is starting so everything's getting a bit more hectic. So. But hopefully there's more content to actually come as a result of uni starting. So yeah, peace.